Okay, I would say, and I'll use this in terms of the analogy, our house that we built for this season really started back last March. Some of you could say it started March 4th when Georgia Tech bounced us out of the ACC tournament. But what you have to understand now is we get ready and the, and, and the competition gets better and as people come into our house, all right, they're going to try to destroy your house. This is our house. Nobody comes into our house and destroys our house. Georgia Tech with the ball, nice diagonal pass up ahead to Marshall for the lay-in. Rebound to Bennett for Georgia Tech. Bennett, sprint dribble up the middle of the floor. Pass into the front court. Walthour spots up for three. Good. Mincy drives down to the left baseline. Mincy under the bucket, off the glass. Rolls around, doesn't fall. Marshall drives right down the left lane line for the easy lay-in. That was too easy. Back to Adams. Adams back to Walthour. Spots up for three and hits. 56 to 36. Now you got a lot of work to do. A lot of us didn't even realize we were down by 20. I don't, well, I mean, we knew we were down, but a lot of us didn't know we were down by that much. So we were just trying to stay focused and try to get something going. You just got to try to get it under 10 with this chip away. In to Thomas. Thomas spins in the way. And once we started doing that, we just kind of chipped away little by little. Baseline Thomas. Passes up the jump shot, drives to the bucket, scores and gets fouled. Our team, I thought, in the second half by chipping away uh, once they saw the scoreboard, you know, up 20. Um, we could have went any direction. You know, most teams, uh, you know, might not have fought and had the courage to fight back from a, a 20 point um, deficit. And uh, this team obviously showed, you know, that, uh, you know, they, you know, were going to fight for each other to protect this house. Barrett. Gets a screen from Kaiser, now gets double teamed. Kaiser rolls to the bucket, gets a pass, gives the Thomas cutting to the boards, and Alyssa Thomas connects. Maryland's right back in it, down 10. They've cut the Georgia Tech lead in half. I think we went on a 17 to one run. Um, you know, just being able to put a lot of plays, our defense to our, our offense. Uh, you, you, know, we were, you know, we kept saying on the bench as a staff, we're back in it, we're, we're here. Well, basically, when we had to get defensive stops and free throws, I just like to not look and hope that good things will happen. So <laughs> I'm her messenger. Looking. I'm her eyes. Yeah, I, I said, tell me what happens. And then I go like that. Yeah. Basically, all of my body functions were starting to shut down, so I had to find Her legs to are kind of numb, up. so I, I took to control the situation and held her up. I didn't want to be that awkward girl that faints on the bench. <laughs> In a huddle, that'd be bad. <laughs> so the inbounds pass to come from Barrett. In the Kaiser in the lane, spins to the bucket and scores. Now Terps trail by just four now. We know that we are going to face adversity at times, and that's definitely something that we face today. A lot of adversity is not the first time, and it's definitely not going to be the last time that we face adversity. And just, they're just proud of how everybody played. Down 20, and just our motto is to fight to finish, and that's definitely what we did. Foul line jumper, it's good! 74-73, Terps down by one. At the end, we were, we were down, I think, one. We're down one, right? Yeah, we're down one. We're down one, and um, Alicia got the rebound. And off the rebound, she was looking for me, but, I mean, we were in transition, so I was telling her, I was like, go, go, go. So I started coming up, and I saw it was a shorter player, so I kind of took her one way, spun back the other, and I knew I had the height advantage. Fall away, it's good, and she's fouled. The Terps have the lead. 75-74 with 17 seconds left. The bench, you could see that they were up and they were really excited. And that's when I knew we had that game. Walthour dribbling the basketball. Seven seconds left. Six. Walthour to the bucket. Ball stripped away by Barrett. Out of bounds. Off Georgia Tech over to the Terrapins. The comeback's complete. The Terps trailed by 20 and come back to win it by three. That is what you call a fantastic finish. We was down 20 points. 20 points. That's how you fight to finish. Down 20. Down 20. Okay, um, are you kidding me? You know how you came back and, and the heart and the character and, you know, the, the, the teamwork, the, you know, just everybody. You know, I mean, that's a special win. 20 points, down 20 with 17 minutes left.
When I think about this game, I am very emotional. You know, I felt like I could have tears tonight in the sense of, um, you know, I, you know, when you know you have a special team and when you witness it, um, you know, in a half like this, you know, it, it's kind of hard for me to describe just in the sense of, you know, what uh, this team means to our coaching staff and, you know, just how um, hard and, and willing uh, they are to be able to fight uh, for each other. And um, obviously that's what separates this team. Uh, in terms of being a really special team. Protect his house on three. One, two, three. Protect his house. Have you thought about, like, what you want people to say about this team when the season ends? All right, special teams come in here and win at Carolina. Has anyone in this locker room won at Carolina? Coach B uh, asked us before we played who uh, was everyone in Carolina, and none of us had the uh, privilege of raising our hands. If it was easy, every team would come in here and win. Special teams come into Carolina and win, just like we talked about the other night. How many teams can go from being down 20 and have an opportunity to go win again? You all showed that you're a special team to be able to go do that. Everybody's going to know how special this team is. Got 18 in the corner. down but uh, with six I mean, we, we fall hard and we were able to come back in the game so it's crucial cool that we just keep fighting and keep working. I think I had a pretty bad shooting game tonight um, but you know my um, teammates and the coaches just kept telling me to shoot it. it's going to fall for you. This Maryland team has been in some tight games before like Friday night against Georgia Tech. Mincy. What a big three from Lauren Mincy. And I just ran back on defense <laughs> hoping that we got to get another stop. Um, they, they believe in each other. They believe that they're never out of a game. Obviously, they continue to show it. And it's a one-point game under a minute left on the bucket by Angela Barrett. This is a Maryland team that has a lot of poise down the stretch. No, we've been down and just to show the heart that we have as a team to come back and it, take, it takes everybody from our bench to the people on the court and just to see this, you know, I know it's gonna be a special year. The last play was, uh, you know, kind of a, a collective combination by our coaching staff and it was a new play that, that we were putting in uh, to be able to get A.T. a shot. A.T. is here, all right, A.T. is here. We've got Alicia, we've got Lynetta, all right? But um, I could tell when when I, we were diagramming it that they looked extremely confused. Ah! You're taking the ball, all right, you're taking the ball. 
you know, I kind of come from the KISS method at, at times in terms of keeping it simple, and um, I could tell by the expression on their face that we needed uh, to make it simple, and I knew the ball obviously needed to be in AT's hands. This is what coaches love, games like this, the competitive games where you have to collectively come together and, and make decisions that you think are in the best interest of your team. And it doesn't matter, you know, at the end of the game what's diagrammed, how much time you have. Uh, players make plays. Uh, great players rise to the occasion, and that's what this team does over and over again. North Carolina cannot foul. Contest and box out. Thomas to the bucket. Thomas got it at the buzzer. At the buzzer, she got it. Oh, my goodness. We're going to overtime. The more I see Alyssa Thomas, the more she starts to remind me of Marissa Coleman. Not just her skill making and playmaking ability, but all the intangibles that go with it because she's such a competitor. She scored five of her baskets, including the one that put him in overtime with her right hand for a left-handed player. I think that is a highly skilled uh, part of her game. I hate to lose, so I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure I get a win and I'm not going to let anybody get in my way of that. This is a terrific play by Alyssa Thomas. Two games in a row. You know what? This is our destiny. We have come too far. We have come too far to leave here without a win. This is our game. This is our game. You fight to win it. You fight it. Thomas. Yes, and one. Alyssa Thomas. Oh, what a game. What a game. What's special about Alyssa is probably everything, her passion for the game, uh, her competitiveness. I've never seen a player that doesn't take a playoff. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's a full court sprint, she's going to beat everybody. And, you know, she cares about this team so much, she would do anything for this team to win. And that's, it's just, she's just a really special person. I played really bad today, you know, my shots wasn't falling. Um, I had a tough time on the boards, but I think when we got to overtime, my focus got back together and I was able to get the offensive rebound and help my team out. I mean our fans were our fans were loud today in the stands. Uh, they they believed in us the whole round and it was a lot of fun to play with these girls in this arena today and have uh, the type of fans that come down and support us and you know we had them on the edges and they stuck with us the whole game so it was definitely a lot of fun. Barrett. Now five free throws in a row. He comes down to one stop and one stop only. All right, one stop and one stop only. North Carolina is going to lose it. Maryland stays unbeaten at 16 and 0 in overtime, 77-72. I'm like, I'm coming around the corner and I'm about ready to shed tears. Are you kidding me? Like, the spirit that you have in this locker room. Angela, I mean, that, that you know. AT, I mean, we just, we, 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 we just. A diagram. We go to try to diagram this elaborate play, and then I'm like, "What are we doing? You know, keep it simple." And you could tell your look. You guys are like, "What are you doing?" All right, and that's why you're so precious. All right. And, and as I say that, I mean each and every one of you, Tiana, man, I, I call you at halftime. That offensive rebound that you got late game. And, and and I'm telling you, every single person in this locker room contributed to that win. Coaches, support staff, every single person. I mean, you just keep fighting, and you keep fighting, and you keep fighting. That's a that's a heck of a win. How many people? How many people in this locker room have won at North Carolina? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
favorite part of the game tonight. Anyone want to tell me? The the buzzer beater by Alyssa to tie the game. Yeah. Yeah. Send it to overtime. Two threes by Lynetta. Tiana's rebound at the end, at, in the overtime. And then a great drive with a layup, a reverse layup. That was a pro move on that rebound to step back and lay it back in. Big reason why we won the game tonight was because of our fans. Can't wait to see them. Thank you guys. We'll race you home. <laughs> Stevens and I'm the coordinator of recruiting operations and I took some of the team Hello, ladies. <laughs> to the National Rehabilitation Center to meet with patients, adult and adolescents. Doing community service is, is not only very, very rewarding for our players, but I know as well as any kind of person out there individually who looks up to our team. People know that we do care about the community and this team is a very special team. My name is Libby Ellis and I'm an operations intern and team manager. Uh, my mom has worked at the National Rehab Hospital for about over 20 years now. Kathy Ellis is my mom so I talked to her. Yeah, so she came here a lot in my childhood so I thought it would be cool for the team to come meet all you guys because I always loved coming here. So. Um, I kind of grew up coming in and out, meeting patients. Um, she loves it. You can tell she loves it. Um, she loves coming to work every day. And she liked to bring my sister and I here uh, when we were younger to see how much she really appreciates this place and how it's like a second home for her and us. I've always loved NRH because you really see how people care about each other and you see progress with people coming back from life-threatening injuries a lot of the time and they come back um, and just doing fun therapy like basketball. Really have a huge impact on people's lives. So I think it's really cool for our team to be able to see that, and it was cool for me to see that when I was growing up. What people who are here get out of a visit like this is A, they, they get a little more enjoyment during the therapy session, but more in the long run, they're getting a picture for getting back into life outside of here. People are only here for a month or two, and then they have to get back to life. So sports and recreation is a big part of life. And so they're having a human-to-human -human visit. They're learning that people still care about them. And it's a way of making their life more normal during a hospital stay. And it makes a really big difference in how people have their experience of the hospital. Katie! <laughs> Yeah, I'm a basketball fan. I played for two years for my school. I have a nervous system disorder and I can't walk. I have seizures. It means a lot to me that they took the time to come here and watch us play some basketball and meet us. It brightened my day. They bless us, you know, with their presence, you know what I mean? It, it, it's, a, it's a lift for up, you know, for these people that uh, they come in here, they exercise every day, try to better themselves and whatnot, you know? So to have these guys come in and just to show a little time, you know, I'm pretty sure it's uh, lifting their spirits, giving them some motivation to rehab. Well, last night we played uh, University of Miami. We went down there and uh, it was a pretty tough game, but we ended up losing. Uh, 
and in our winning streak. When you when you lose a game and you know we got in pretty late last night and um, we're here today, um, it definitely puts a lot of things in perspective. Just, we can't really dwell on the loss that we had uh, yesterday because we have to come in here and um, you know these these uh, lovely people here they. Every day they probably go through uh, tough times and just, just to be here today, um, see them in therapy and see them smiling, you know, they just, it puts so much things in perspective, just understanding uh, that, you know, every day is not going to be a good day, but you got to, you got to find a way to make, it, make somebody happy. If it's not yourself, make somebody else happy. Basically, yeah, I just started right under the under the basket, and just vertical, spin around. Not a big deal at all. They say it's so hard, but it seems so easy when I did it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get me like a wheelchair ramp so I can try to mimic that dunk. <laughs>